Hey everybody, and welcome back to Video Game Esoterica. On this week's episode of Tech Deep End, we're going to be taking a look at mastering CD-ROMs for the 3DO M2 using the original 3.1 SDK, or Software Development Kit, that was sent up by the 3DO company in the mid-90s. Before we get too deep in, just go hit that like and subscribe button. All the subs definitely help us out. This is a very complex episode to make, even if it doesn't have many moving parts to it, so we really appreciate all those subs. And yes, that is a vintage PowerBook G3. So to do this, all you're going to need is that laptop, or you can do it in emulation, I'll show you later, and a USB 2.0 stick. If you format these sticks in FAT32 and they're under 32 gigabytes, you can transport files between Macintosh and Windows 10, so I definitely recommend doing that. It makes it a lot easier on the burning disks. But you will see here, we have the whole PowerBook G3 up and running, and we're just going to go and launch the SDK, and that's going to allow us to run commands on the computer. You will see I blurred some things out in the corner because we do have something really exciting to show you in the upcoming weeks. But right now, I'm just going to leave it as a little bit of a teaser. You've never seen it before. No one's ever really seen it before the way I'm showing it. So it's definitely something that I want you guys to get a little bit hyped about. You see there the layout was successful and that's something I did before and we have transitioned over to a direct capture. I apologize for the kind of bad video quality of this. This is the best that that PowerBook G3 can do export wise as far as the signal. You see here in this little document we have all the different commands for the SDK and I want to give a lot of credit to the 3DO company. Everything is so well written that I was able to learn this, get it up and running in about maybe a day's worth of time. And you will see in the MPW shell here, that's where we're going to be executing our commands. I've been chatting with somebody that used to work at 3DO back when this was being developed. He has to go on name, so we'll just call him Morty. I call everyone Morty if they don't have a name. And he was really helpful giving me some input. He might decide that he wants to be public later on, but I'm going to disrespect what he asks and just keep this between him and I at this point in time. What we're going to do here is you're just going to see in this CD-ROM master folder, there is going to be a take me folder as well as all the layout tools you need. You put all the files you need to compile a CD image in take me, and that's going to have all of the different drivers and folios needed to actually run 3DO M2 software. And the lay tool is just going to be the command that you're going to execute, and that's going to allow the SDK to develop that image. I had a couple tests in there, so I just deleted them. But what you need to do is you need to set the directory that you're working in for the SDK. Let's see, I'll just go to the desktop and show you where it is. I'll pick CD-ROM master. I'll double click into that and the M2 3.1 folder is where all the files are needed to compile the CD. So just drop them all in there and select your working directory. We'll type lay tool, the greater than symbol, and then CD-ROM.tcl. Go ahead and hit enter, not return. Return will just give you a new line and enter will actually execute the command. You will see I've blurred everything out because I really am teasing what's coming up soon and this is how I was able to create it to run on original 3DO M2 hardware. But we have a successful disk image, and I'll just go ahead and plug in my USB stick. It's already got a test image on there, so I'll just change the title of the image to burn.image. That way I know what I'm looking at. And I'll go ahead and drop that right on to the stick. And like I said, as long as it's FAT32 formatted and it's under 32 gigabytes, OS 9 will natively be able to understand it. It's going to take a long time to move over, so I'll fast forward, but it does work. And now that we're back in Windows 10, we're just going to go ahead and switch burn.image to burn.iso because Windows 10 does not know what an image file is, but it does know what a .iso file is. And luckily, these are the exact same standard with just a little bit of a different name. Windows 10 might ask if you want to change the file extension. Just say yes. And now we have a CD-ROM image that's going to go ahead and be able to be tested in the Opera FS Reader. And you will see that the entire image we built is properly formatted for a 3DO M2, and this should execute when it's put in actual hardware. So from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and open up Image Burn, and we'll go ahead and drop that ISO in there as well and see whether or not it recognizes it. Image Burn will burn 3DO M2 images perfectly fine, but if there's any problem with the file structure, it'll fail. It takes a little bit here, but you'll see everything works perfectly fine. So we're able to burn an original disk. Additionally, you can use SheepShaver in emulation on Windows 10 to run the SDK as well. It's a little less stable just because of, I mean, it's emulation, it's going to crash a few times, but it does work here for me, minus the fact that I didn't have enough hard drive space to actually produce the ISO. It gives you like one gigabyte by default, and the ISO file on this that I was creating was 650 megabytes. So when I do actually execute it, it's going to just fail due to the fact that there's not allocated space. But you don't need original hardware, I just like using it because it's fun. And very shortly on our channel, we're going to be showing you exactly what that disc contains that I just burnt. But if you do me a huge favor, hit like and subscribe. That way you know when the footage comes up. I know I'm teasing you, but can you really blame me? Otherwise, we'll be back on Tuesday with another episode of the Mainline Series. But thanks so much for watching and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.